Welcome back to Random Tasks and my 2001 Saab 93 Aero. If you watched the last couple videos of mine on this car, uh, you'll know that I had a problem with water leaking into the back. I hope I've solved that by building new gaskets for the taillights. Um, and while I did clean up the surface rust that I had developed because of the standing water, uh, one thing I could not save was the floor covering. Um, it just stinks. It's just moldy, it's disgusting. Um, it was also warped, so I've decided to uh, make my own because I can't actually go get one. So I'm gonna use some plywood and some carpet and you're gonna come along for the journey. So this is the, the old carpet panel from the Saab, um, which doesn't look terrible from this angle. Um, you can kind of see the impression of where the spare tire and it sits, but when I flip it over, yeah, that's just nasty. Um, and this is after I've managed to dry it out a bit and clean it up, but it's still, yeah, it's still damp. And it's been in my shed for weeks. So uh, I'm just basically just gonna use this as a template and then I'm going to toss it in the bin. I am gonna salvage this bit so this goes over the bit of the bulkhead between the, the rear seat and the boot. So I'm just gonna cut it off. This part's fine, this didn't really get wet at all. Um, and then I'm gonna have a piece of wood here, just a quarter inch ply, and that's gonna sit. So once I put this back in the car and there's little clips that hold it down, my new wood piece is gonna sit up against that. And that is 90 centimeters, more or less exactly. So I've got this cut down already to uh, 90 centimeters this way. This was a four by eight. It works out that four feet or 1.2 meters roughly um, is the perfect width if I wanna fill the entire width of the, the boot area, the trunk area. This is actually a little bit more narrow. I'm thinking of making this piece a bit more contoured to actually fill out the whole space. Or I'll just take the easy route and make it the same size as this. I'm not quite sure yet. Okay, so I've got this clamped down straight edge marked there. Measured 90 centimeters from the end there to here, which gives me, you can see, see the holes here and here. Gives it a little bit of, uh, of room there. So I'm gonna use my utility knife and just score along there and then probably follow up my scissors. Actually, the knife worked really well. Didn't even need the scissors. Um, so that's cut, nice straight edge. Did score the table a little bit, but that's okay. This table has seen better days anyway. Okay, so I got the carpet on the wood now. You can see it lines up on those two sides. I have decided that I'm just gonna make the wood the same size. I'm not gonna try to get too fancy and go too big with it. Um, so I will basically trace the outline of the contours here and then get my jigsaw out and cut the wood.
Okay, so I've got the wood cut the size. And I've got some carpet here. Got this from a caravan supply place in Bristol, about 10 pounds. So I want to actually have quite a bit of overlap because I'm going to use the excess to create a bit of padding. So this is a one meter wide, by two meter wide strip. So I've got plenty on this end. So I'm going to give it a bit more over here. Good. So I've got some, some spray adhesive. Make sure, actually, first of all, I have this, this is the wrong side anyway. Anyway, yeah, this is, needs to be the top side. So I'm gonna spray this with some spray adhesive and then flip it over. Oh, that wasn't great. Maybe I should have bought another can of this. There we go. staple gun. So I'm going to quickly just pull this taut and just start putting down a few staples. So you want to make sure you're not using staples that are too long, which these aren't. Admittedly, that was dumb luck. I'm just going to loosen this up here and just really give it a good pull. So, it's a good start. Okay, got more staples in and off camera, I more or less did uh, everything. Trimming up the edges and I'm just doing a little fold over the 
finish it off here. Get a little bit of thickness, a little bit of padding. Um, hopefully, this won't rattle much in the back. Obviously, if I have stuff in there, it's going to be weighing it down and it'll be all fine. But when I don't have stuff in there, I'd rather not have any unwanted sounds. Good. So I'm quite happy with the way that turned out. Nice and taut, nice and rigid, a bit stronger than the old one, and more or less the same color. I decided to do one last kind of clean layer of carpet on the underside. Basically took some scrap pieces, folded it over, and just made it a little bit more neat, and also adds, again, a bit more padding. So now, I believe this is ready to go in the car. Okay, moment of truth. I put that remaining piece in over the bulkhead there, and I have my panel. So, let's put it in. Perfect. Color is Close, close enough anyway. I've actually got a rubber cargo mat that I'm gonna put over it, so I'll we'll be able to see it. But the nice thing I like about it is that it's a much more sturdy floor. It's not sagging anymore. And even better, it doesn't smell like moldy old carpet. So that's gonna be it for today. Hope this was useful and Please like and subscribe and we'll see you the next time.